Hello, and welcome to the final video of Crystal Clear. I say video, this is one of those, uh, this is one of those things where I'm just recording instead of streaming because I don't know how long this will be. Could be very short. Then again, the game could also throw something that I have no idea is coming at me, like that, that DJ who kicked my butt last time. Uh, I did do a bunch of grinding after the previous stream, as was necessary, because we got as far as we could with a bunch of level 30s. Uh, so I got everyone up to level 50, except Gleam. Gleam still kind of sucks. Umbreon is not great in Gen 2. But he's got an EXP share, so he'll be fine. And we've got... How many badges left to get? Three, four, five, six badges. So we're pretty much just going to uh, go through all those gyms. And then straight to the Elite Four is the plan. Is this movement speed faster than Crystal? I think it might... Maybe there was like a run option in settings that I enabled. Okay, this is the fighting type gym, so I'm going to stick Nick out in front. Uh, he... Is he fully evolved? Because he's level 50 now, so he should be. No, he's still, uh... Oh, hold on. It's not that, uh... I don't th they don't evolve at a certain level. I think maybe I have to use the trade back guy. Let me try that real quick. Maybe I can get a in uh, Alakazam. And then the only other person who's not fully evolved is Goji, who will evolve at level 55. All right, trade back guy. Is this you? You can lower a Pokémon's level. Okay. Interesting. I don't know why you do that, but... A lot of very specific NPCs. There's a dude who lets you set nature for Pokemon Transporter? Oh, right, because you could, like, Crystal on VC, you could send up to a... Wow, this is compatible with, like, Pokemon Bank? Are you the trade back guy? No, you're the name raider. Where's the trade back guy? Let me look up on the Discord. Trade back guy in the department stores. Okay. A lot of effort was put into making this compatible with, like, actual hardware and all that that is itself compatible with. And that's cool. I kind of wish that the game itself was more official-seeming. I don't know if that's maybe mean to say. I did... I did Obviously, I have to go all over the region to get all the trainers to level these Pokemon up. So I saw a lot of stuff. And there's a lot of, like, original content in this game. Like, a lot, a lot. There's a bunch of, like, OCs from, I don't know, devs or devs friends and things. I think Sans is in it or something. And I get it, it's a fan game. The devs are gonna want to do that. I personally wish it was closer to, you know, just Crystal, but open world.
All right, Alakazam. Hey, it worked. I don't think I have to like put him in a PC and out again. I think that's only a Gen 1 thing. You have to do that to uh, update a Pokemon's stats. That's only from uh, DVs, not from Evolution. Most of the gyms I did clear out all the trainers for. I guess I didn't come to this one. Yoshi. He's got that, uh, he's got that Gon hair. You might also notice that I, uh, I went through the music and changed it around a little bit. I don't remember which theme this is, but, uh, it's new. It's not the, the gold-silver trainer music. You know what's an unofficial feature that I would have liked? A randomizer. I love when games have inbuilt randomizers. I wonder what's the minimum number of areas they could have reasonably added to include all the Kanto Pokemon. Because you can catch a bunch of them in this game. I don't think there's that many that you can't get in uh, Gen 2, just stand alone. Probably like 20 or so. Several of which are legendaries or gift Pokemon like the starters. Shut up, phone. Is that a shiny, or is that his normal sprite? I guess it would, it would tell me if it was shiny. I think. I think trainer battles do that. So I have 12 badges. So these guys... I guess we didn't confirm if... They continue to get stronger all the way up to 16 badges, or if they just like cap at eight badges as their strongest team. Knob. They really named a guy Knob. This is different. It's not, uh, it's not a strength puzzle. It's just an additional trainer. Also, I know they weren't being funny. They were naming after the, they named him after the, uh, the translator, whose full name I forget. I hope I'm leveled enough, because I'm realizing I'm here at this gym, and uh, they're level 48. That's that's not too far below me. I guess the nice thing about this being a video is that if we like hit an hour and we're already being out leveled, then I could just I could stop grind again and do another one.
We did challenge the... No, we didn't challenge the Elite Four. Did we? I think the DJ only fought us once. And then after that, we were able to go to the Elite Four. And I think he had, like, level... 50 Pokemon? I don't remember. All right, gotta fill up on PP. Be right back. Phone, shut up. I'm popular today. I'm never popular. Pokemon gym trainers here are macho bullies. If I stick around, they might come after me. Are they bullies, or are you just afraid of them? That sounds like unprofessional behavior, if the uh, gym trainers are, are bullying the advice guy. That's not cool. Pokedex 24. It's an open world game. It's got all 251 Pokemon in it. I've only caught 24. All right, show me what you can do, Wario. Wahaha! You know what? They should have had a, a Dark-type gym instead of this one. Because Kanto had a Fighting-type gym. It was replaced by the Psychic-type gym, but, you know, it still existed. There was a facility full of uh, Fighting-type trainers and a leader. We could have had all 17 types covered, but no. Dark doesn't get a gym. I guess it would be kind of mean to have a, a gym full of dark trainers using Pokemon that uh, you just can't get yourself until Kanto. You'd see all these things and be like, wow, that's cool, where can I get it? Oh, I can't? Ursaring, not a fighting type. Not in Chuck's original party. Chuckle. Oh, they're nicknames, so I don't know what they are. Is Chuckle a Shuckle? He wouldn't use a Shuckle. There's nothing fighting type about that. Why does he have a Shuckle? What the hell? Uh... Fire Punch would be neutral. I guess everything I use would be neutral. Is Psychic... weak against Bug? I don't remember. Uh, rock would be neutral, because I think it's weak against itself. Flying would be neutral. What works on Shuckle? I'm probably misremembering a type, so I'm just going to Psychic it. I'm sure it'll go down. It'll be fine. Even with its 255 special defense. That it feels the need to increase even further. I can paralyze it. It already moved second, but why not? Oh. Very unusual choice for Chuck. I wonder if the gift shuckle is still in the game. I didn't- I don't think I checked. Because you get a, uh, just a free shuckle here in, uh, Sea and Wood. In the base game. Which this dude just gives it to you because he's afraid that your rival is gonna steal it. And I thought that was it. I thought you just took the shuckle and then ran off and you never saw this dude again. But, uh, apparently... If you raise that Shuckle's happiness and come back, he has dialogue for, Oh, wow, you're a great trainer. You can keep the Shuckle. So, 
there is a guilt-free option to uh, keep the shuckle with permission in the game, apparently. I never knew. Kadabra, Alakazam. Is so nice in Gen 2. I was nice in Gen 1, but now it has a move pool. No. No, you've lost, Chuck. Oh, it survived! What's Machamp's special defense like? I don't actually know. Stronger than its special attack, I'm sure. I remember at one point in time, I made a spreadsheet of Pokemon with, like, more effective stat totals. Because when you look at a Pokemon stat total, you're getting their attack and special attack. Whereas, for most purposes, you'll only be using one of those stats. So this spreadsheet only counted the higher of those two. Which doesn't account for mixed attackers, granted, but, uh... Those are in the minority, so for the most part, it's a little more accurate for gauging which Pokémon has the highest total stats. I should update that. Don't go to Cerulean Cave. So, there were areas from Gen 1 that were re-added to this game. The uh, power plant is once again abandoned, and it has the layout that it did in Gen 1. Uh, Cerulean Cave is re-added again. There's a new Cinnabar Island that I th think has the Pokemon Mansion on it. I'm not sure about that one. It's also accessible through a tunnel for some reason, instead of just being a different island. A little weird of a, of a choice. Alright, Jasmine. Assuming she's still gonna start with her magnet, I'm gonna send Goji out. Do you know about the steel type? Yeah, I know about the steel type. What steel types exist? I it's uh, the Magnemite family, Steelix, and Foratris and Scizor off the top of my head. Those might be the only four in Gen 2? Thankfully, uh, Levitate does not exist yet. Also, I don't think Magneton gets Levitate. Even though it is, like, object- it's factually levitating. In fact, that's part of its, like, Pokedex lore. But, uh, I don't think it gets it. Magnemite abilities. Nope, it has Magnet Pull or Sturdy, because I, I guess Levitate would be broken. Blastoise. Okay. Because it's got cannons? I guess. What do I want to use against Blastoise? I don't have any. Well, Nick and Jack both have Thunder moves. Unless I get rid of Jack's Thunder move. I don't think I did. You know, the Thunder type. Yeah, I still got Thunderbolt. I don't have any grass attacks on my team. If Magnemite did have Levitate, then its only weaknesses would be Fighting and Fire. Which would... That'd probably be enough, to be honest. Does it really, It's Magnemite. Does it need a 4 times weakness? 
Fuck, give it levitate. Uh-oh. Okay, I survived. And the gym leaders do not use healing Pokemon. Or Pokemon healing, rather. Uh, well, I was going to play this like I was in set mode, but just had the opportunity to change my Pokemon, but I immediately gave up on that. I just, I'm just sending stuff out that's super effective now. I don't care. Who cares? Also, Nick's moves are a little bit redundant, because he's got uh, Fire Punch and Thunder Punch when I have uh, Snorlax and Houndour anyway. Although, uh, Alex Zam is a special attacker, so his Thunder Punch is probably better than Snorlax's Thunderbolt. Tempered Steel will hang on to the very last. I don't... Th I think these lines are new. I don't think they did this in the original game. I think that's a later gen thing that they added to this game. I don't know if being stronger than you means that I'm kinder, but thanks. I said this in uh, Scarlet Violet. You're always the perfect trainer. No matter what the other person's ideal is, you embody it perfectly. We've updated your account. You currently have 12 badges. Best way to train is to go to the gym. Rechallenge a gym, gym by examining the statues near the entrance? Interesting. I wonder if that lets you refight the trainers inside or just the uh, the leader. I would take this off until everyone else is up to, I don't know, 55. I'm probably not going to be using Gleam that much anyway. Because the only thing you can really do with Umbreon is Toxic Stall, and that's exactly what I'm doing with it. Would you like to re-challenge this gym? Current... Oh, and you can choose what set they use. Although, okay, even if I haven't gotten, like, 13 or 14 badges, I can choose to challenge those, uh, those sets. Okay. Neat. Onward to ice. Which I did fight all the trainers in. I think I cleared this one out. Just in case. Nope, I did not. See, I was playing uh, Silver at the same time I was playing this, so I, I get my playthroughs confused pretty easily. Oh, uh, they're already at 59. Hmm. That could be a problem. That's gonna be super effective. Uh-oh. I was going to power level Goji, but now I don't know if I'm going to have the opportunity. Maybe I can try to clear the gyms on this on this stream, not stream. And uh, do the Elite Four next time? Or maybe I should just do the Elite Four now. I don't know if, like, the gyms get stronger than the Elite Four at the highest number of badges.
because we're up to the final four. Well, I hope they don't go up to, like, the 80s or something. Sneasel. Boy, it would have been nice to have Goji. Sneasel. I have a fighting move. I'll just use that. DJ guys that doesn't show up again. Because that would be mean if you had to fight if they just changed the Elite Four into the, into the Elite Five. I mean, it already was with the, uh, with the champion, but uh, the Elite Six, even. I would like to level up Goji. Especially because if he evolves, then he won't have the- he won't be weak to this gym anymore. But if the- uh, if the opponents are faster than it, and they have ice-type moves, or water-type moves, there's, there's a lot of water-type trainers in this gym. Or in this case, when it's a ground-type, and it's gonna negate my, uh, my rock anyway. You know what? I'll just I'll do the swap. I'll I'll send him out and then I'll uh This is a bad idea. Let's do it. I'm going to bank on it using a ground move. Nope. Therian does his best. Kind of funny that that it's an ice type. Like I guess that it's based off a of mammoth more or less, but uh, it's an ice type just because they lived in the cold. Oh boy, Dugong! Do I dare? I could just put the EXP share on Goji. Maybe I should do that instead. Jack. We'll see if Thunderbolt works. Snorlax is better special defense than physical defense. I can also submission. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Because Snorlax is a physical attacker. Not quite half. Let's see how much Thunderbolt does. I take... Aw! Oh. Aw, oh, man. Alright, I think I'll still be able to... Uh, I think two submissions will get it from here before it wakes up. Or that works, too. I take back my reluctance to use a uh, switch mode. I I'm gonna need it if the trainer's gonna get this strong. In fact... I should probably make sure I've done the rest of the gym trainers before I do any more leaders, because leaders are gonna make the... If I get more badges, it's gonna make the gym trainers stronger. No one has returned, so I don't have to be too worried about uh, Pokemon dying.
It's that Alakazam special attack. Maybe I should go to the Dragon Gym now. You know what? I think... Yeah. I'm gonna put the EXP share on Goji. And I'm gonna see if I can get him up to 55. What's he currently have? I'm gonna guess he has the Soft Soil. Oh, I gotta take it off Gleam first. No, Gle Gleam already doesn't have it. Yeah, Soft Sand. Which will still be useful when he's Tyranitar, but it won't... Earthquake won't be a stab move anymore. Let me just fly on my dead bird over to the next town. There's also a lot of little spots like this in the game. Where there's just very specific clips that you can cliffs that you can jump up. That go to like new special areas and things. A lot of that. Oh, this is new. What is this? I guess they decided a lava gym was not realistic. Alright, let's see if we can level up Goji in here. There are a few Cedra family users. other gyms did we have to go to? Okay, hopefully it doesn't have Surf, or Ice Beam, or Earthquake. This is a legal Dragonite. Unlike whatever Lance was doing in Gen 2. It's now protected against crits, so... Uh, never mind. What does Safeguard do again? Protects against status effects? Yeah, status conditions. I like how it feels the need to split it, even though I only used the Pokemon holding the EXP share. This definitely has a water move, so, uh... Wait, this isn't a dragon. Probably also has Perish Song. Perish Song. Yes. Maybe I can make it use peri Perish Song. Why can't I say that? Perish Song. On my tanky Umbreon. Oh, that's right! Safeguard! Whoops. But it only protects from non-volatile status conditions, so... No? Oh, works on those two. Okay, non-volatile stat status conditions and confusion. I, I should have finished reading the description. So it wouldn't protect against, like, attract. But it does protect against confusion. Which means Gleam had- it never had a chance. Sorry, buddy.
apparently in Gen 2, it also prevented confusion from things like uh, Outrage and Thrash. Use your rain dance. Yeah, waste a turn. Oh, come on! I like how it doesn't even tell you what safeguard does when an enemy uses it. You just have to know. That's odd. Maybe walk back, walk back out after every battle. I don't care. I'm using the speed up for the boring parts. I wonder if she still does the thing where she makes you go to the dragon's den in this version. I hope not. I hope not. I'll bet, you know why they probably redesigned this one? Because the original gym required strength. And they wanted it to be available as your first gym, even if you didn't have the strength HM yet. That's probably the, the reasoning for the decision. Oh, Kingdra is only weak to dragon type. So I'm probably best just psychicking it. gets a crit on me. I could inflict Toxic, but we know Gleam's not going to win this, so uh, let's, let's help the next Pokemon to come in. I, I think Sand Attack will help more. Especially if it's using Hydro Pump. Maybe he does have a shot. Maybe I should have used Toxic. It has given up on... Or it's ran out, probably run out of PP for Hydro Pump is what happened. Kingdra has no PP. I could be nice and heal my Gleam, but, uh, eh. May you never land an attack again. A curse upon thee. It just, once I started using Sand Attack, it never landed another move after that. You poor, poor thing. Oh, he's got another one! Man. I hate to do this, but I am specifically in here to level up Goji. But we gotta maximize this return. So what are my options? I have Psychic with uh, Alakazam and uh, Strength with Snorlax are going to be my hardest hitters. Let's see if Snorlax can do it, because he's a little bit lower level. 
sadly, I rarely have reason to pull out Darien. Probably the second worst member of the team. After, uh, after Gleam. I just mean in battle viability. In spirit, they're, they're both top. I'm just going to sumo push it until it dies. They could have named the move, like, push or shove or something instead of strength. So it was more clear how it would be used in battle, but... I don't know. The animation makes it seem like I'm throwing a rock. But it's normal type? Pokemon moves kind of never made sense. Alright, back we go. It is nice that this does not, like, screw up the clock in this version of the game. It is 1.33 p.m. Whereas in the in silver and all the just base games, if you do speed up, it will mess up the internal clock. I wonder how they did that. Can't allow a nameless trainer past me. I'm not nameless. You're nameless. Fran. Stop giving me Kingras! I hate dealing with these things! Maybe I should just speed up this time. Maybe Umbreon is worth using speed up. Okay. No, Umbreon could, could not pull it off. Let's see if Darien can get some experience. Especially since if I use Fly, it'll, it'll use uh, two turns per. Ah! He couldn't even survive one attack, man! I didn't get any, uh... I didn't get any sand attacks off. And it only gets hurt by poison if it lands an attack and the Pokemon doesn't die. So it's like Hyper Beam in Gen 1. As long as it keeps KOing my Pokemon in one move, it the, the poison damage doesn't take effect. Kind of sucks. Alright, that's one of his two or three Kingdra. Let me guess, you got another one? Jinx, okay, that's better. Uh, do I dare attempt it with Goji? It's probably just gonna use Blizzard like that last Jinx did. It could miss, but I'm not gonna take the chance. Yeah, it did miss. That said, it is not guaranteed that uh, Goji's Rock Slide would have been enough to uh, one-hit KO it. Man, once we get to the level 50 Pokémon, they just probably all have their best moves. This Jinx probably has both Blizzard and Psychic. I don't know what else it has, if it still has, like, a lovely kiss. Which is, I don't remember how accurate in Gen 2. I think it's been, like, 70 accuracy? Sing is 55, if I remember correctly. And I know lovely kiss was better than that. Hypnosis was not very accurate. 
Spore was the only 100% accuracy sleep move. Even the only really high accuracy sleep move. Sleep powder. How accurate was that? 75%. So I'm just I'm looking up stats now because I'm curious. I think sleep powder was the second best. Hypnosis was 60%. And Sing was 55. Dragons are sacred. They're full of life energy. Lovely Kiss is 75. Okay, so Lovely Kiss is the same accuracy as Sleep Powder. But it's normal type. I don't think the powder moves affect grass Pokemon, so... Lovely Kiss can be used on everything. Except probably Ghost type in Gen 1. I think even status moves didn't affect them back then. Does he only have moves? Does Dragonite only have moves that it learns by leveling up? Because if so, that's not a great move pool. I think they do. I think they just have their level up move pools. Well, that's that's good for me. Claire won't. Claire will have, like, actual moves on her team. I know some of her Dragonites have, like, Ice Beam. Sneasel. It has very low defense. High attack and high speed. Its only physical type is probably going to be normal. And it's going to use Agility first anyway, because that's always Sneasel's first move. Oh, come on! Bite. I'm kind of surprised it learns Bite. I think it's only Dark moves like Faint Attack. Why is Sneasel in the Dragon Gym anyway? What's going on with that? Alright, Dragonite. Finally, a team that Goji can handle by himself. Ironically, he'd have more difficulty against the, uh, the unevolved Dragonair. Maybe. I guess he could still Earthquake. Whereas he can't do that on Dragonite. Yeah, use your wing attack. Because you ain't got nothing else, do you? Get out of here, Peach Dragon. Sweet to Adam's family skin tone she's got going on. Is that all the trainers? Is it Claire next? No, there's still more trainers. Okay. I don't think I'm going to get him up to level 55 with just this gym. But uh, I could go back to the Ice Gym and selectively pick some trainers there. Or I could check out one of some of the Kanto Gyms that I don't have yet. See, unless... I'd, I'll have to see if I clear, cleaned those out of, uh, of regular trainers or not. Ah, oh, I should have just saved! This is what abusing speed up gets you. How many of those are going to be uh, Kingdras? Oh, uh, when did I last save? Did I save after I beat that trainer? I don't remember. I'm just going to have to fight very carefully.
I hope he's got four Dragonites. Boy, that, that would just be swell. That'd be easy fights for great EXP. Come on, give me four Dragonites. Gyarados. I'm not gonna one hit, one hit KO that thing. Also, it's faster than me, and it surely has a water attack, so, uh... Uh, Jack. Really wish I had a reason to use Darien. Pretty much only against opponents that are weak to uh, flying and dark. Which a bunch of other members of my team have dark, so... Not even a, a niche unique to him. Uh oh, that's okay. That's spe that's no, it's not special. It's still the types haven't been split yet. Why bother to use Rain Dance if you're just gonna follow it up with Hyper Beam? All right, 54. Not quite there yet. Maybe I have a rare candy stowed away. I don't think I'll need it, though. Thank God this is not like the anime. And my rock is drastically weakened by being in, in the rain. Dragon Dance would be nice, but it, uh, it, it doesn't exist yet. I don't think. When was Dragon Dance introduced? Why am I missing everything? Throw me a bone! Introduced in Gen 3. Yeah, crit. I was due for some luck. Alright, another Dragonite. His The only wrench in the plan was a Gyarados. He otherwise had three lowest possible level Dragonites. Awesome team for leveling up uh, Pupitar. Give me one more and don't miss, please. Well, this turned out great, considering I forgot to save before the trainer. Oh, I just need one more Pokemon. I need to find one thing that I can kill. Are there any more trainers, or is that it? Okay, that's it. It's just Claire after that. Can I surf in here? No? Okay, it's got like a... It's got a waterfall gimmick. It's a bunch of... It's a, like a big, long, suspended path. With fountains everywhere. It's very dark and spooky. Alright, back to the... Uh, well, hold on. What? are the Kanto gems that I have left. If I can find the right menu item. Uh, Misty and Blaine. Well, we're definitely not doing Misty. Probably should have gone straight to Blaine. To, well, hmm. Does Cinnabar have a gem again in this version is the question. Pokemon Center with a Blissey. 
That's rare. So this is new Cinnabar. It was not like a surf away from old Cinnabar. It was just, uh, it was through a tunnel I took to get here. A little strange. Let's see if the uh, the quiz is back. Okay, it is not. They gave the uh, they gave Claire's old lava tile set to Blaine. That makes sense. That is an appropriate decision. New gym design, though. This also means there's a bunch of new trainers, because uh, in Gen 2, Cinnabar did not have a gym. Blaine had relocated to the, uh... The Islands, whose name I'm drawing a blank on for some reason. Shut up, phone! It, I am sadly going to lose the stab on Earthquake when I evolve. And instead gain a type that I can't use as effectively, because I'm a physical attacker, not a special attacker, but, uh... Oh, it's gonna kill itself. Great. No? Oh, Alright. This'll do it. Can't miss! All right, Tyranitar. Now that that's secured, we can level up some other stuff. Uh, Persian is weak to fighting, but I, I wish I could give, like, Darien some levels. I'll make the attempt. I'll see if he can handle a Persian that is higher level than him. It's not that much higher. In fact, this gym seems to have lower level Pokemon than the uh, the Dragon Gym had. The Dragon was unusually high leveled. I don't think Darien's going to do this. Unless Persian misses its next attack. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen, so... Uh... Jack. I, I, let's send out Shadow. He's a little bit lower. Gleam I'm just not going to worry about. When every other party member's up to, I don't know, like 55, then I'll, uh, I'll give him the EXP share again so we can play catch-up. Let's use Feint Attack, so I'm guaranteed not to miss. The only Pokemon that is actually a special attacker with a dark type. Oh, that's ominous. Yes, evolve. Gogeta! Gogeta, 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 Gogeta. All right, go ahead and take that off. Give him his soft sand again. Uh, do I want to stay here in the fire gem and continue fire gem gym and continue leveling up? Darian just he can't do anything here. Maybe I need to give him the exp share for a little while. What's he even holding? Focus band. Eh. All right, you go down here for a bit. I am going to try to take on all the gym trainers before I take on more gym leaders. Because I don't want them to get stronger.
think this is using the Cinnabar music from the first game, or the first generation, given that I don't think... I don't know, actually, I don't know what music it had in Gen 2, because it wasn't a city anymore. Already over an hour. Maybe I was a little presumptuous to think that we would just beeline through all of the gym leaders and go straight to the Elite Four. Especially since now I have to be wary of uh, over-leveling the gym trainers. Oh, that would have been great for Goji. I could use healing items, I guess. I am being, you know, stingy. I probably have enough money that I could just, I could stand to use some hyper potions and I'd be fine. Can fire Pokemon be burned? I don't actually know in this gen. That wasn't great. Maybe I should be train. Well, I could be training Sh a Shadow at the Ice Gym, except that they have a bunch of water types in there as well. Uh, is it going to use Sunny Day? Is that its plan? Because if so, I'm going to bank on its plan to be using Thunny Sunny Day. I'm faster than it, though, so... Uh, let's see what it does. Nope, it's just going straight into Solar Beam. Does it not have Sunny Day, or is it wary of making Fire Move stronger? So I wonder if I had fought, if I had come to this gym first or second or something. Would he have an Oddish? That'd be weird in the fire gym. The only reason I figure he has one on his team is for the uh, Sunny Day Solar Beam synergy. Sunny Day also helping fire moves. But it's his second Pokemon, so he can't really utilize that? Seems a little poorly planned out, Mr. Fire Breather. Is this gym a big circle? Why are there two paths? Maybe it's a maze. Maybe that's what's going on. Oh, it switches. Okay, we got switch puzzles, I see. I don't know if they're puzzles, I just kind of flipped a switch and then walked straight through. April is very green. Uh, I shouldn't be using shadow here. Every fight's just gonna be a slug fest. But I guess it doesn't have any moves that are great against me either. No, use Leer again. Come on. status condition. Fire-type Pokémon are immune to burns. Oh. Yes, please. 
What is no faint attack? All right. Uh, do I want to keep that just for its never miss? Because I am never ever gonna use reversal. Yeah, let's keep that for the uh, never miss chance. Nine tails. I don't have a water type, but I do have uh, I do have surf. Remember when fire move was like the final fire move that you would get on every Pokemon. Like, it was the best thing ever, and it was just rap, but fire type. That's all it was. There were some weird move decisions in Gen 1. Probably not news to anybody, me saying that. I think it's still about in the same place on Fire Pokemon's movesets, except now it's even worse. Because it doesn't even, like, paralyze opponents like Rap did in Gen 1. They, they changed how Rap works. Actually changed that in Gen 1.5 in uh, Pokemon Stadium. Because it was that obviously problematic in Gen 1. Hey! He's getting levels! Haven't seen that all stream. Illogical. Not much of a puzzle, but we're working on it. But good for you. You keep at it. Snorlax and Alakazam can handle themselves. Houndour can handle himself against the right type. Hello? Can I surf ya? Finally, I'm not having to go back to the Pokemon Center after every single fight. You could grill a steak medium rare inside this gym. be more impressive if you could grill it well. I wonder how hot a sidewalk would have to be to grill a steak on it. Probably pretty hot. It takes more heat to, to grill a steak than to fry an egg. Mag Cargo is a cool new Pokemon with a cool type pairing. It probably isn't very good because it's it's slow and has a common four times weakness. Yeah, he swiped at me. Do your worst. Obligatory reminder that Ferret is six feet long. This is not a uh, ferret-sized creature. I mention that every time Ferd is on screen. Because it's still weird to me. I wonder, I wonder if anyone assumed that, like, their first time looking at it. If they... If their first assumption that was that Ferret was big and not small. I guess I didn't figure it was that small. I thought it was, I don't know, four feet, maybe? I just didn't think it was adult human sized. Apparently Typhlosion is good for uh, soloing the Elite Four in Gen 2. According to Gleam, 
the Umbreon. Which uh, surprised me a little bit, because all I've heard is how terrible Typhlosion was in Gen 2. He's leveling up slowly, because Darien is mooching experience, but he needs it. I did not do any duping, even between streams. I think I made one more attempt at it, but the timing is so obnoxious in Crystal, and I don't even have confirmation that it wasn't patched out, so... I, I didn't continue attempting it. It's also way easier, because they made it harder, it's way easier to uh, create something called a bad egg in Crystal. Which is a glitch creation that can be very difficult to deal with. But was, before arbitrary code execution, part of a very elaborate celery glitch. Celery Celebi glitch. Involving two Sneasels with a beat-up. I have no idea why the convection of this lava isn't cooking us alive. Smart. Smart scientist. So this is the way to blame, which means the other path is a dead end. It really isn't, like, a puzzle at all, is it? I like that one of the trainers even acknowledges that. Oh, hello, Bellhop. Officer Merchant. Stephen Merchant. You a moron. Ooh, he's got a hound doom. I was still calling out Houndour, wasn't I? Uh. How much is Surf gonna do? Hopefully, it uses Faint Attack again and not Flamethrower. No, it, worse, it's gonna attempt Smog and not even hit. I'll have to walk with a cane. I think my friend Tito's got it. It's one of those, like, dev self-inserts or something. There's an old man named Tito hanging out in the, uh, the park. Is there more? No, that's it. Okay, it's just a dead end up here. All right. Cinnabar cleaned out. I remember we briefly visited uh, Cerulean Gym last time. I guess J Jack and Nick are good for that, because they both have electric moves. Let's go clean that place. No, not Mount Moon. Would be nice if Fly started from uh, wherever you were currently located, instead of Pallet Town every time. Which, I think it does that in later generations. But I don't remember for sure. Also, is that... Is that, an, is that a new sprite? I don't think female swimmers looked like that in Gen 2. Maybe, maybe they did, maybe I'm just forgetting. Or maybe it's just more pronounced now that the uh, they're changing the color of the hair. Yeah, this was the place I came to when I was still level 30. I didn't have a chance. What's the matter? Can't do nothing to me now? 
I shouldn't be taunting. I'm, I'm gonna be one more gym leader and be so outmatched by the next one. If I get to a point where the gym leaders are too much, then I will attempt a run at the Elite Four. And see how bad they are. Worst case, there might be another video of this. someone holding a magnet, but I think I took it away. I think I gave most everyone better items, because uh, I came upon two leftovers. So I've got one on, uh, I think one on Jack and one on Nick. Paralyze. Come on, do it. Alright, that's alright. I can finish it in two more turns. Unless it has protect. Okay, it doesn't. I wonder how used Parashong. Parashong still is in competitive Pokemon. I guess not that many. It's not that common a move, I suppose. I don't think it was ever a TM or a TR or anything. Maybe it was. Shadow's not going to be getting leveled up in this gym. That's for damn sure. Unless someone's got a... Uh... Unless someone's got a weird, like, out-of-left-field Pokemon on their team. Like that fire guy with the Blossom. Oh, uh, yep. Got nothing against Kingra. Just going to have to power through with Psychic. I think yellow is not necessarily 50%, so this might not KO. No, it did, okay. Uh, watch him have three Kingras. It's such a dillweed Pokemon to have to deal with. I hate it. Get out of here! Hey, yeah, he's got three of them. I forgot, sorry, I'm still looking on Bulbapedia, that uh, the first Pokemon Stadium game was actually the second Pokemon Stadium game. Because the first Pokemon Stadium was exclusive to Japan. I wonder if that had all of exactly the same mechanics as uh, Red and Blue. Because Pokemon Stadium, our Pokemon Stadium 1, their Pokemon Stadium 2, had mechanics between Gen 1 and 2. 
and our Pokemon Stadium 2 had gold-silver crystal mechanics. Also, I just noted they used the censored sprite in this. Unless it varies and I wasn't paying attention. This was one of the uh, localization changes. In the original Japanese version, the uh, female swimmers were winking. But uh, I guess that was too provocative for the West. I'm watching. I'll probably talk more about this when uh, I'm streaming with Jack again, but... Uh... I'm watching the ocean dub of the original Dragon Ball. Not DBZ, Dragon Ball. And uh, it only got 13 episodes made of that dub. And it's kind of... what Early Dragon Ball had a lot of sex comedy that uh, Dragon Ball Z didn't. And it's funny to see them attempt to censor it. Especially since it's like four kids quality MS Paint edits. And uh, Dragon Ball itself does not have stable footage. If you watch it, it, it looks kind of shaky from one frame to the next. So you've got the, you know, the cartoon kind of moving around a little bit. But the MS Paint layovers very obviously sitting perfectly still. Slowbro. Uh, do I dare? I'm gonna try it. If he gets knocked out, then I didn't, I didn't lose anything. It's definitely not going to one-hit KO. Yeah, move these around. There you go. Probably two hits? Oh, yeah, it actually did more than I thought it would. I guess uh, Slowbro is physically defensive, not specially defensive. I think it's, uh, I think Slowking is the special defensive variant. I'll be swimming here quietly. Alright. Well, that's all the gym trainers except for the ice gym. So let's go back there. It's, it's so nice to be able to just switch between regions like that. That really should have been in the base game. Alright. Ice and... Well, sadly, water types, so I guess I'll put Shadow out front, and uh, when I run into uh, water types, I'm just going to have to swap them out. Oh, I, I fought him already. Fought her already. Did I fight you? Yeah, I fought you. Alright, let's fight this guy, then. I know, Price is secret. His secret is that he's old, and he's trained his Pokémon a long time, because he's old. That's the secret. Oh, you got a Deli Bird? Great. I think Shadow can take that. I have to use one of these stupid things on my, uh, my Silver Team for an achievement. But I think I mentioned last time. I'm glad, even though it only learns the one move present by level up, I'm glad it can still learn TMs. So it's not as bad as some other joke Pokemon. It's still really bad. I'm gonna try this because Cloyster has awful special defense. It's one of those Pokemon who all of its stats are in uh, physical defense. Like Onix. Yeah! 
Get out of here. I'm gonna let Darien hit 55 and I'll take that off of him. Cloyster is surprisingly vulnerable if you know how to hit it. Oh, this one was a little tougher. I guess it didn't have a water move. Or it was too dumb to use it. Go ahead and avoid the risk of a move missing. These trainer types don't appear at all outside of this gym. The, uh, the border and skier types, they're only in this gym. Also, I don't remember if that was the original dialogue. No, it's not that trainer who says it. It's, uh, it's Price who says, I have been with my Pokemon a very long time. There's also a trainer in the uh, the ghost gym that says that. I don't know why I needed to save there. I already uh already beat all the trainers, so it's not like I'm going to get ambushed by anybody. Logically, if Snorlax is sliding on ice behind me, he really should have body-checked me to the right. I'd have no way of stopping in front of Price here. Pokemon have many experiences. I think that's different dialogue than the base game. He looks so short, doesn't he? But this guy's got some, like, elaborate backstory in Pokemon Adventures. I think he was, like, uh... He was, like, a former Team Rocket member, or... Maybe he's still in Team Rocket? I think he's a villain in Pokemon Adventures. It's kind of weird. It's a manga I've always kind of wanted to read, but just never got around to. It just, it just sounds fascinating, having Pokemon with, like, an actual story. And not whatever the Pokemon anime is doing, which is not that. This Cloister probably has a water move. This, this is a gym leader, Cloister. This might have been a mistake. Yeah, there's, there's Surf. Alright, I bet, I bet its special attack isn't that high. Nope. I, uh, I made a poor bet. Let's just send in Nick, because Nick's fast. Oh! What, y'all are using healing items now? When did that start? Dugong. All right. Stick with my guns. Even though I think Dugong is specially defensive. Any Pokemon that has, like, body fat tends to be... Like, that. that's their standard for what makes a specially defensive Pokemon. Usually blubbery Pokemon are on the special defense side. Pile of swine. It is a pile of swine. Uh, do I dare? What could what could Jack do? He could surf. Yeah, I'll, I'll send him out. He's not doing anything else. It's Surf or he gets submission, but uh, think I'll lean towards Surf here. 
Uh oh, that's gonna hurt. That's nine levels above me. It's got stab and cert and Snorlax is not physically defensive, but it didn't matter. It was actually not that bad. Unfortunately, it's going to keep doing it, and uh, it will win the damage war. I don't think Leftovers is going to heal quite enough, unless this crits. How does a wave do land a critical hit anyway? Alright, well, he used one, so I'm going to be cheeky. No you. How do you like it? Watch it, not gonna matter. He's gonna get a crit earthquake. Please, no crit. 186. So if it deals 93, it did deal more than half. If that had critted, did, 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 I would have died. Go ahead and get rid of that EXP share. Lapras. What do I have against Lapras? Not much. Gleam. Do your best. I have my two electric users, but I think Lapras is one of those... Uh... Actually, Lapras might have, like, both physical and special defense. Lapras, Cerebi. Defense 80, special defense 95. Okay, so it is on the special defensive side a little bit. It does have a high HP stat, which is also defensive. It's not that the Gleam strategy doesn't work, it's just extremely boring to do. Which is why I don't like sending Gleam out. Gleam is just gonna hang out on the party and be, like, my last resort if I have a Pokémon that, like, no one else can deal with. Such a mean strategy. I wonder if it knows Parish Song. We're not gonna use a hyper potion again? Are y'all out? Alright, what's your last Pokemon? Art Articuno? What are you doing with an Articuno? Get out of here with that! Uh, well, Articuno is four times weak against Rock, so, uh, Goji. Get out here! This is what you evolved for. You are quite the trainer, just casually whips out Articuno. So this implies there are multiple legendaries. Since I know you can capture your own Articuno in this game. Yeah, four times weakness. I wonder if almost every gym leader has a legendary at like the highest levels of their party. There's not a legendary steel type. But like Blaine could probably Blaine probably has a Moltres and uh Surge probably has a uh Zapdos. I wonder if Misty has a Suicune. Suicune, whatever. Can 
Congratulations. 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 Best way to train is by re-challenging a gym. I wa I still- I don't want to do it. You know what? I'm gonna save it for science. Reset. To... Set one, just for curiosity. Does that reset the trainers? It does reset the trainers. Interesting. Yeah, level 3 seal. Alright. That's cool. You can not only reset the gym leader, but all of the trainers in the gym to a whatever level you want to set them to. Item storage full. What am I carrying? X speed, Mac, get rid of that shit. Buy my stuff! Look at me worried about money. I don't want to use my items. I might run out. Alright, and they're, they're getting up there in level, so we'll, we'll give Gleam his EXP share back. Again, not that he can't handle himself. I just don't want to use him. Now, how bad is Claire gonna be? I do have an ice move. I have uh, Alakazam's Ice Punch. Hello. You like my Snorlax buddy? He's pretty cool. I just know she's gonna have a Kingdra. I mean, she... I'm pretty sure had a, she had a Kingdra in the base game, so definitely has one now. I believe her in-game party was two Dragonairs and a Kingdra? I'm the world's best Dragon Master. I can hold my own against the Elite Four. Screw that Lance guy. I've never even heard of him. Current champion? Nah. I'm the best. Alright, Dragonite, what level is it? 65. Ooh. Oh, I picked the wrong do-over. Mulligan. This is not gonna one-hit KO. It'll do half. Do more than half. Ooh! Yes, please! Now, I don't think the AI is smart enough to know that I just used an ice move. And not send out, like, another Dragonite. I don't think the AI is that, uh, that advanced. Nope. She has a full team of six. There are no legendary dragon types, so she's not gonna send out a legendary unless they're, like... Now, there aren't even any dragon-like legendaries. Go ahead and undo that shit. Uh-oh. Oh, is that special or is that physical? I think Dragon is special. Thankfully, I'm still faster, because Alakazam is a speed demon. I could probably manage this by abusing the switch setting and uh, items. Dragonite. I also have revives, if needed. I don't like having to resort to that, but... Uh, if she's level 65, 
I'm gonna guess the next gym will be like 72 and the final one be like 80. Which I don't think we can do at our current level. So, my goal now is to uh, get through clear here. I'm gonna get through clear and then I'm going to uh, book it. I'm gonna go straight to the Elite Four and see if they're still at the level they were the last time we went to them. I think we saw them once before. So I may have been naive to think that uh, Darien would be faster than that Dragonite. He is he's not. Uh. I should have I should have used that turn to revive Nick. Well, now I Gleam can take at least two hits, maybe more. So I'm going to use a normal revive and a healing item. Oh yeah. Gleam's a tank. Yeah, hurt yourself. Oh, come on! Let's use, a so use a super potion, because I'm stingy. Yeah, hit yourself. Come on, give me another one. Yeah! We raking in that undue experience. Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna start with Gleam. I'm g I hate Kingdra so much, I am going to... I'm going to use the full force of Gleam on it. Do I dare Confuse Ray first? Because I'm banking on, like, two turns in a row of it hitting itself, and that's not likely. Let me just guarantee that I get a Toxic in. No, guarantee, quote-unquote, but uh, it worked. Now, even if Gleam dies, I hope he survives this. I don't know, though. Okay, he survived. Now I can Confuse and throw up a Hyper Potion. You know, spend 1,200 Poke Bucks. That's not too bad. Use one of my 48 Hyper Potions that I stocked up on for the Elite Four. Yeah, hit yourself. I think the last King Girl was using Hydro Pump during a rain rain dance, which is why it was uh, it hit so hard. Even though this one is level 70, Gleam is just that tanky. Once again, amazing AI, gym leader, the greatest dragon trainer in the world. Not smart enough to swap out Pokemon under these circumstances. Hmm. Do I want that? I don't really use Cut. Eh. I am not allowed to use healing items during a battle in the Elite Four. I know that. Uh, Charizard. I kind of wanted to give some lower levels some experience, but I, I gotta use Goji. Heh, <laughs> nice. Are all of her dragons female? I, I didn't notice what the uh, what the Dragonites were. It's all right. Goji has some defense. He can take this. I would be upset if Rock Slide missed. Could have happened. I think it has 90 accuracy. 
With only 75 power, I would love a better rock move, but uh, no such move exists yet. Rhydon. All right, Snorlax, get in there. I wonder if it knows, like, uh, thunder or something to deal with water types. Fortunately for me, I have my Surf on a non-water type. Rollout, I see. This might take two hits, but that's okay. Rollout's not gonna two-hit KO me, for sure. Yeah, two hits. It was in the... Th this strategy was actually in one of the, uh, I think, a recent False Swipe video about uh, the worst intended strategies in Pokemon. And one of them was that uh, you can use Defense Curl and then roll out to double its power, which I knew that already, but... Like, rollout is already so bad, taking as many turns as, as it does to get going, that the idea of adding, of spending a move slot on Defense Curl and making it take one more turn to get going is completely worthless. No one will ever do that. Oh, good. Claire is a, a good sport in this continuity. Dragon Breath. No, it has nothing to do with my breath. Yeah, old joke. Take the Dragon User Challenge. You can get a Dratini with extreme speed. Probably. It's in Base Crystal. So I assume it's probably still in this version. All right. Uh, well, now that we know what levels we're looking at, I don't think I'd dare challenge those other two gym leaders. 14 badges. The Pokemon League is deemed the Cerule. Yep, yeah, we saw that. Thank you for the rerun. Let's go visit the Pokemon. Let's go visit the Elite Four. If they're still out of my league and I just, I can't touch them yet, then uh, this is going to be one more stream. I'm going to uh, power level my Pokemon some more. Maybe to like level 80 or something. And then we'll come back and do the last two gyms and the Elite Four for a actual final video, if this doesn't work out. Still probably have good reserves. I can't use these items in battle, so I only really need enough to restore my team between fights. Yep. Uh, cataracts. No. You don't sell full heals? There they are. Get some more of those for good measure. Some more revives. For oh, you can buy these berries. That's cool. Actually, that's interesting because you can uh, you can hold these. You know what? I'm gonna buy a few of these. Since you can't use items in battle, but if I need to, I can give this to a Pokemon to uh, avoid, you know, a paralysis or a freeze or something. And then some more, uh, some revised for good measure. Just in case. I have 30 of them. Why not 50? I got the money for it. Uh... So last time, the guy I fought was the DJ dude. And I don't remember if his team had, like, a theme or anything. Okay, now I'm gonna get ambushed again. Today, we'll finish this. I'm not part of the Elite Four. I just happen to be here. This is just... This is unfair. Well, what happens after this? Does he at least, like, heal my Pokemon? Interviewer Fef. 
Uh, level 56 is his team. So, still above me. I, I did all that power leveling, and I'm still not up to this guy's level, but, uh... My Pokémon are just better, so I think I'll be fine. Uh-oh. Didn't happen. Mulligan. Alright, this time for sure. It's gonna one-hit KO. Yeah! Actual continuity, right there. Now, does this guy still let me use switch mode? No, he counts as, like, I have to fight him the way I will fight the Elite Four. I don't- I don't want to get into a slugfest with a fire type. Why you do- why you send Flareon out? This benefits nobody. Oh, why does Flareon have a high jump kick? What the hell? Why is Flareon doing, like, a Bruce Lee move? Oh. Well, I definitely don't want to send Goji out in that case. <sighs> Jack is also weak to fighting. What do I do against a fire fighting type? Nothing! It's not actually fire fighting, but... Uh... If it were fighting, I could use Nick or Darien, but, uh... I guess I'll hope Psychic is strong enough. I know I'll be faster than it, surely. Yeah. It's probably still gonna take two hits. Come on, you got Shadow Ball too? Flareon, the ace. Just prepared for everything. <sighs> well, Darien will take neutral damage from the fighting move. But it's probably got a fire move that's gonna, like, destroy him. Oh, of course. Yeah. It has Ho-Oh's Sacred Fire. That's fair. That's a thing that Flareon learns in the base game. And my fire user is out. Both of my fire users are out, and I cannot revive them. I can't even, uh, poison scissor. Oh, God. This is annoying. I guess this fight's here for a reason. I want to be super effective. It's ice or electric or rock. Oh, it's not just super fit, it's a crit! Great! I don't like this guy. I hate this DJ. Let me just- let me go to the Elite Four. Let me find out how strong they are myself. Let me live my life! Jack is not gonna be fast. But I don't really have anything else to try. Uh, Submission, Surf, and Thunderbolt will all be neutral, I believe. Well, it can't be super against me, because it's rock, ice, or electric. Yeah. That did so little. I guess it just doesn't have any other useful moves. I hope that after this, if I won, which I'm not going to, but if I did, I would hope that the lady at the counter would say, Uh, excuse me, sir? You can't just do that? This is bullshit? The Elite Fork challenge is cancelled. Go heal up, you can come back and try again. That'd be nice. Boy, I hope that happens. This, this Alakazam using double kick. 
Get out of here. Also, a full team of shinies. Show off. Yeah, I believe this guy just found these. I believe this is a legitimate team. Who do I still have? I have Goji, which can earthquake this thing, but it's going to be vulnerable to a water move. I have Thunderbolt, but that's... Tentacruel has a lot of special defense. It's like the main thing it has going on. So this will probably do, like, a third. Less. Is it using Seismic Toss because it doesn't have anything else, or because it's a fighting-type move and it thinks it's super effective? I wonder. Alright. Hopefully I'm faster. Earthquake should one-hit KO it at this point. Now I'm not faster. But it used a shitty move, so... I could do this, depending on its- and on their final Pokémon. What's he gonna send out? Watch it be a fighting type that'll destroy both my- this and Umbreon. No, it's- it's its own Umbreon, okay. Uh, hmm. Do I dare just try to power through, or should I switch? I don't want to switch Pokemon is the thing. I'll see if I can just, I'll see if I can hit it hard enough. It's an Umbreon, it can't have that dangerous a moveset. See? Oh, Substitute actually shows like a little, uh... A little sprite, it's like the menu sprite, instead of a generic graphic. That's neat, that's a good decision. It's, yeah, it's using the same strategy that I have. I don't like using Umbreon, but I'm sure to win with him! Oh. Oh, you got a Tyranitar. Yeah, I can't tank that. Well, fuck this, I can't do the Elite Four now. This will make for a great story. If you can beat me, you might be able to beat the Elite Four if they go easy on you. Alright. That was unprecedented. Let's heal- yes! Heal my Pokémon. Uh... We have new Elite Four? Oh, it's- it's all the dude's original characters. It's not actually the- the- It's not actually the Gold Silver Elite Four. That's the old dude. The dude with the cane. Do I get to choose the order I fight them in? I don't know if I do or not, but, uh... Because of that DJ guy, I now cannot save out in front of the Elite Four. So, uh, if I can't do this, then I'm committed to a losing off-stream to get out of here. Alright, it's not Koga, it's... Raiden, from Metal Gear Solid. Rowan. Not Professor Rowan. It's a different Rowan. It's a developer's buddy or something. Welcome to the Elite Four. I'll be your first challenge. I learned a lot from my time in the field. I'm guessing they don't have types. I'm guessing they all have, like, competitive teams. 
it, it really just does look like a, a friend of the dev or something. Again, I get the desire to do this, but it, 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 makes the, it makes the game feel very fan game. Also, I don't know what that does. Do you, I guess the Elite Four rooms have weather effects or something now? Was that rain? I don't know what that effect was. Well, neither of us can use healing items during the fight. And we are stuck on set mode, so I also cannot do my, my psychic bullshit of picking and choosing what I want to send out. Still doesn't have a full team of six Pokemon, despite being on the Elite Four. Yeah, it's rain. Okay, so that weakens my fire. What kind of shit is that? How come you get to have, like, circumstances that benefit your team on, by default, in your, in your Elite Four room? Critical Hyper Beam, come on. Oh, and this is gonna suck if I use submission, because Wigglytuff's got a ton of HP. It'd do it anyway, but it's gonna hurt like shit. And it's I think it's faster than me, so. Yeah, there I go. What do you mean it missed? Also, is the, is the rain gonna end or is this permanent weather? Is this like Gen 3 weather? Have we embarked on the weather wars? Starmie. Does it know Shadow Ball? No, just no surf. Alright. It's gonna hurt, but he can take it. Alakazam can handle getting wet. Oh, that's right, it's raining too. I wonder how many of his Pokemon benefit from the rain. Probably has something that knows thunder. Yeah, he does. Well, this is gonna suck. I'm faster, so I'll get a Psychic in. I'm sure anyone who is enough of a Pokemon nerd to be watching this VOD knows this, but uh, Thunder is increased to 100 accuracy in the rain. Oh, and it has, it has, why does the Raichu know Surf? It, they evolved a surfing Pikachu. All right, well, it's not Stab, although it, it's a crit. Are you serious? Uh. I'm gonna see if Shadow's faster. It's already down to half health. I don't want to use the Gleam Strat. As he's not faster. Rip in peace, Shadow. Boy, if I'd known that there was going to be a... Uh, a battlefield effect that benefit his, benefited his entire party... Just the entire length of the battle... Maybe I would have planned accordingly. Maybe if there had been, like, I don't know, a visible rain effect in the room, even. Or just like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna be a sport and let you know that I'm a cheater. Now, something would be nice, but, uh... 
I don't think this is happening. That's quite a uh, that's quite a degree in different uh, in different team levels. It was a level sixty five Raichu, and uh, it was a previous Pokemon was like level fifty five. I don't remember if Thunder is increased to an accuracy of 100, or if it just never misses in the rain. Uh, well, Darien is probably not going to be faster, so this is uh, most likely it. Yeah. Let's try that again now that I know about his rain nonsense. I'm not going to give up just yet. Alright, now that I know that fire won't work... Go ahead and stick the flying type in front. Could also start with Alakazam with Ice Punch, I suppose. But let's give Darien a chance to shine. Giga Drain is not going to hurt that badly. It's going to be not very effective, but uh, it will unfortunately force Fly to take three turns. Like six turns, technically. Oh, uh, it was almost. I thought that was a crit for a second. I really wish that the, the, the toxic thing wasn't a shortcoming of this gen. The fact that uh, if Raichu KOs me in one turn, it doesn't take the toxic damage. Because otherwise I could t I could hit toxic on it on the first turn and just re be reasonably assured it will eventually go down. But uh, if it keeps sweeping my Pokemon, that won't happen in Gen 2. Ah, uh, it knows Thunder as well, does it? Which hits flying types, or well, hits Pokemon that are flying. Ah, uh, do I want to, uh... What did it use on Jack? It didn't have a fighting move. It also doesn't have a lot of physical defense, but it might have Surf is what I'm worried about. I never found out what its final, what his final Pokemon was, because he, uh... swept me with Raichu. Alright, I am faster than Wigglytuff. This probably still won't one-hit KO. As strong as Tyranitar is... Oh no, it did. Oh, it was a crit. Now they're going to send out Starmie. No, Nido Queen. I see. Well, that I can deal with with uh, Alakazam. It's faster than me, but I can survive one Earthquake. I'm pretty sure Goji has the defense for that. Oh, yeah, I can. Does he have leftovers? No, Jack has leftovers. Jack and Alakazam. If Darien wasn't out, I could swap to him and eat the Earthquake, but uh, I can't, so uh, rest in peace, Goji. Shadow's gonna be otherwise useless anyway because of the rain. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna spend him to take out this Nido Queen. Raichu, no, still not Star You. Here 
here comes the Surf that's probably going to one-shot Shadow because it's raining. Even though it's not Stab, I think Raichu's got the special attack to- yeah. I already lost Goji, so I can't use Earthquake. Even if I could, it has a, uh... I'm gonna confuse it, and then use my second turn to, uh, to Toxic. Because this Raichu is the, is the most threatening thing on this guy's team. And I don't know, you know what, I'm, I need to look this up. Pokemon, Thunder. Does it always hit? Is it perfect accuracy in uh, in rain? Thunder bypasses accuracy checks to always hit. Okay. So, uh, sand attack even is going to be useless in this scenario. I'm just going to have to depend on confusion and luck. And my, uh, my... HM slave move. Come on, hit yourself. Yeah! Deserved. After the last match? Screw this, Raichu. You are a cheating cheater who cheats, Mr. Rain. Rowan, you don't deserve to share the name with a dignified Pokemon professor. Give him another Toxic. Just, just in case. Just to be really sure. I should be able to just Alakazam this again. This shouldn't be a problem. Probably should have confused if I was only going to get one turn in. Confusion or, uh... Sand Attack would have both benefited Alakazam more. Well, now I'm worried if every member of the Elite Four is going to have some cheaty nonsense going on. Watch it get a crit on both of my Pokémon in a row. And not take poison damage. Okay, good. Most of my team up to 55. You know your stuff. You sure know a lot about Pokemon. I hate you, Rowan. Ugh, four Pokemon fainted, one almost fainted. Begin the revival. free up some item space. I'm gonna have to just, like, enter the fight with this guy. I'm gonna have to do a mulligan just to find out what his cheaty gimmick is. I fought his team before. I think all he had was a, uh, was a... Ponyta. So maybe he'll have, like, 
a sunshine game? What, what are the weathers that exist? The only ones are rain, sun, and uh, sandstorm. There's no hail yet in Gen 2. Unless they added it, of course. Let me presumptively assume that he might have sun out all the time. Hi, diddly doodly! I was too lazy to change this room's design. I like the birds and the bees. Sex? Throughout the eons, I've been no- What do you mean, eons? What? What is this guy? He's a comedian. Elite Four Doom. Okay. Dev friend. Does he have a bird team? Okay, I... Seems like sun? Which is great for shadow. It means I get 1.5 on my fire attack. Yep, sunlight. Okay. I guessed correctly. Fun Thankfully, use reflect and not uh, light screen. What are you doing using a knock towel on the Elite Four? Octillery. Well, water is going to be very weak, but uh, even so. I don't have anything that can eat a water attack, I, I, other than Gleam, who can eat anything. But, like, he's my final resort. I could just, I could sacrifice Darien, I suppose. Jack can eat a water attack, okay. And he's got, uh, he's got Thunderbolt. Which I think is okay in Sun? Thunder is weakened in Sun. Or rather, its accuracy is lowered. Tell the story every time, but uh, Remoraid was originally supposed to be a gun, and Octillery was originally supposed to be a tank. Which is why they have all of these moves like Flamethrower and Octazooka and uh, Beams. They, have, they can learn all the Beams and lock on you know, attacks that you would associate with a gun or barrel of some kind. Interesting decision to use a, a water type in the sun, even if it knows a fire type move. I'm not too threatened by this two dudes' uh, team-building decisions so far. Zatu is probably gonna wipe out Snorlax here. Drill Peck. I didn't even know it could learn that. Aw, oh, come on! Don't miss with Thunderbolt. Can you take another drill? No, we can't. Alright, uh... Let's see, I have, I have a number of things I could use on this. I could use Rock, or Dark. It pro it certainly has a Psychic move and Drill Peck. I don't know what other moves it could have. I'll just send out Goji. I want to save my- I want to save Shadow for when I have, like, a good use for the fire. And Goji's a physical attacker, so if I have the choice between the two, I want to use Rock Slide instead of Crunch. It'd be great if it actually hit, though. Please? Good. They are... These guys are obviously much stronger than the, the uh, base game Elite Four. Gen 2's Elite Four being kind of a joke... Mainly because half of the game is behind them. Like, you go through all of Johto and your level, you know, 
under level 50 by the time you beat the Elite Four. Lance has like level 46 Dragon Knights somehow. And then you unlock Kanto, the entire other half of the game. This guy uses questionable Pokemon. It's not even evolved. What are you doing with Omanyte? Diddly doodly. Well, it can't use water on me. Maybe it knows Earthquake. It will probably... It might still use weakened water on me, despite it being in the sun. No, it will use ice, which is neutral. Okay. I guess they compensated it being unevolved by it being a very high level. Weird team. I wonder if this was just, if those were like this dev friend's favorite Pokemon. And most of them just happen to be unviable. Fibeth. Oh, we have a gamer den for this Elite Four. Definitely not representative of a real person. It is a little surprising we haven't had an actual, like, uh, gamer Elite Four or gym leader in Pokemon that I recall. Unless you count Iono, but she's not, like... She's not a video game streamer, she's just kind of a streamer who does live events or something. Okay. Uh... Do I assume there to be a sandstorm happening here? Or... No weather? Or something else? I don't know what- I don't know what gamer man might have up his sleeve, so, uh, I, we're just gonna test the water. You know what? Yeah, we'll just test the waters. That's what we'll do. Hello. So good to see you. I could chat all day about video games. I have more than 1,200 games. I bet you're the type of person who plays games on emulators. Yeah, I do, because emulators, you know, last. I used to collect hardware, then it all started dying on me, and I realized you really gotta spend a lot of time and money on maintenance if you want to do that. Anderson, the out the Kadabra? Okay. Sunlight again. All right. Using fire punch because of sunlight, even though I'm a fire type. Whatever. Would I be better off using crunch or just a physical move? Just because Alakazam has no physical defense. I don't recognize this theme, this battle theme. Forden. Does he have an actual theme to his team? Are they all fire types? Uh... Well, I can't really use... Again, I can't use Surf, really, because it's sunny out. I guess... I guess I'll send out Gleam. So he can take whatever this dude's about to fire. Oh, oh, he's like me. This is gonna be an annoying Magmar. Well, you know what? I can be annoying. No you. Please don't hurt yourself, Gleam. It's a fire blast in sun. That's gonna hurt even him. Okay. 
That doesn't guarantee that I won't still eat the next hit, but... It's nice to have gotten a move off. Don't hurt yourself. Yay! Do I dare dream of three in a row? Can I get a sand attack off? Aw, oh, he got confused, confused second, and, and his war off first? Yeah, there he goes. Is Tyranitar faster than Magmar? Might have been better off with Alakazam, just guaranteeing that I have the first hit. But let's see. I wonder if... Hold on. I haven't tried to use my own weather. I wonder if I can pull out Sandstorm. And negate his whole strategy. I wonder if when my Sandstorm ends, it will go back to being sunny. Or if it will just deny me changing weather, which would be extra cheaty. Charvel. What wacky moves does this thing have? Does it have, uh... You know what? Let's try it. For science. Unfortunately, I don't get the, uh... I don't get the special defense boost. In this gen. I think that started in gen 4. Rock types got a, uh, 1.5 special defense in sand. However, as I've mentioned, it is, uh, it is more powerful in this gen. It takes off one-fourth of health per turn instead of one-sixteenth. Sorry, one-eighth is what it takes off in uh, gen 2. If I was using J Zap Cannon, it would never hit two times out of three. Just saying. Togepi. What insane level and moves does this thing have to counteract it being a Togepi? It has Metronome. Watch, it's gonna get Swords Dance, and then it's gonna get a Fighting-type move. It's gonna get a High Jump Kick, and I'm gonna get wrecked by a Togepi. Uh, okay, that's not very effective against me. However, it is, uh, sword danced. We're good. I have slain the Togepi. Weird Elite Four teams. So they're not themed around a type, they're themed around a weather effect? It didn't show if the sun was back or not. I'm surprised I survived that. That probably means the sun is not back, so I can negate their weather with my own weather. Maybe I should open with Goji then. Maybe I should just sandstorm immediately in all of these matches. Get out of here, gamer musician man. I know that it's objectively better to have a varied team, but... You can't, you can't, you have to have a type. That's just, yeah, it's expected of the Elite Four. If I were an Elite Four member, I would have a type. Unlike Ray Strummond. I'll use a full restore. Now, I only have one. Well, I can't use them in battle, so I guess it doesn't matter. Use a revive. 
And since I can't use them in battle, it makes full restores and max revives kind of pointless. Alright, gonna assume this guy has rain or sand. And open with Goji again. Alright, who are you? Honey bun. The room's full of water. Probably gonna be rain. I had yet to learn the one universal truth about battling. Pokemon and its trainer are one and the same. I guess, but... Hey. It's also just a cold, hard numbers game. Discipline, friendship, none of those things matter. Oh, he's mean. Honey Bun thinks he's a very cool dude. Gengar. I can handle that. Have a nice uh, earthquake, Mr. Gengar. Yeah, it's rain or sand? Oh, I should have uh, I should have PP'd. It's rain. And I can't use healing items in battle, so unless I restart this, I only have one rock slide. I should take that off now. Gleam doesn't still need that EXP, sure. Alright, well... Yeah, let me sandstorm. It's going to hurt my team members as well, but it'll get rid of the rain, which uh, ruins whatever strategy he has on most of his team. Even when the sandstorm ends, the rain will not return, so that's a, that's a long con strategy. And now I can use Houndoom. Because I wouldn't be able to use him in the rain. It'd be a bad idea. Maria. In fact, this like this weather is disadvantageous to me versus Steelix. What would a Maria Pokemon be? Maria would be in a lowland dug trio. I'm sorry, that's a terrible answer. Saucy would hate that answer. I'm sure there's, like, a small, cute, blonde Pokémon that I'm not thinking of. Uh... Do I want to fight a Dragonite... ...with Shadow? I, I really don't. This is a Rain team, so it's probably going to Surf. I'm gonna guess it has Surf in its moveset. Gleam, you're gonna eat a hit. You're gonna take on some water. Dynamic punch, okay. Bold move, Cotton. Let me just go ahead and make that even less likely to hit. Never mind, it it's faster. It's strong, it's 150. No, it's not. Is it? How strong is dynamic punch? I know it always confuses. It's a hundred power and always confuses. Please don't hit again. Two in a row! If I use dynamic dynamic punch, it would never hit two times out of three. Alright, get out of here, Dragonite. Hopefully it sends out something that I have a move to respond to. Because Nick's got good coverage. Her Heracross? Why is it a question mark? Why is it... Why are we surprised that they're sending out Heracross? Okay, well, I can Psychic. That's super effective. Hopefully this one-shots it, because otherwise it's gonna Mega Horn me and destroy me. Oh, no! Rest in peace, Alakazam. 
A fond farewell from Team Star. Who's my fastest Pokemon now? Might be Shadow? Megahorn would be neutral on Shadow. It'd also be neutral on Darien. Flying would be great, but it's already almost dead anyway. Let me just, uh, faint attack. Please, yes, I'm faster. Great. It's gonna be not very effective, but it won't matter. Heracross? You're using Heracross? Slowbro is not specially defensive, and I know I'm faster. So, uh, let's get a crunch in. It won't one-hit KO. I'll probably die, but I can deal with Slowbro. It's not rain-boosted, either. But it is super effective, and Slowbro's got special, so, yeah, there it goes. Uh, I have Jack and Darien left. Darien's not gonna have the special... I mean, I send in Jack! Darien doesn't have the special attack to, uh, to deal with this Slowbro. Neither does Jack, really, but... Maybe it'll be strong enough. Oh, no, it's not. That's annoying. It's bringing me down to its... Oh, no! This is gonna be annoying, Pokemon. I underestimated this slow bro. And it's got leftovers. So it's got leftovers. It's got rest, thunder wave, surf? Yeah, surf. It's just going to get a surf off, and it's going to uh, it's going to rest again. Please crit. He's not going to crit. <sighs> There's nothing I can do because I can't use items. What does Darian have? If I sent in Darian, it would be faint attacking, and I don't know if it would be stronger than Thunderbolt. It wouldn't be paralyzed, so it would move first. I'm sure Slowbro's about to rest. Yeah. So now I'll get three turns where I move first. Will that be enough? Will, will faint attack, three faint attacks do it? With Murkrow's special attack stat. Barely. It might be enough. No, it's got leftovers. It won't be enough. Uh. Well, it will be forced to rest again immediately, so we're going to get in a pee-pee in a -pee war. Maybe I'll get lucky and crit eventually. No, it's going to surf. Okay. Please survive. Murkrow, you have one job. Murkrow. Yes! This is still probably not good. I still probably lost this, because he's got one more Pokemon after this. Unless it's, like, glorious for one of my... For either a, a no-health Murkrow or a paralyzed Snorlax. Daddy. It's bad. We're boned. I'm gonna wean you off life. Okay. So it's gonna be faster than my Snorlax because mine is paralyzed. And also low. Okay, focus band. It has, uh... It also has leftovers, doesn't it? I wasn't looking. Did its health go up? Yes, it did. 
Only I am allowed to have two Pokemon with leftovers. Mine is paralyzed. Can it... Is there any chance it will hit harder than... I do have submission. Ooh. Oh, wait. No, that's... That's not the ghost curse. That's the kind of curse that I don't want. Don't be paralyzed, Jack! This game hates me. It wouldn't have mattered. Well, I'd say it wouldn't have mattered if I hit all three submissions, but... Yeah, I'm boned. Ain't not, this ain't happening. Maybe I would have had a small chance if I'd, like, used Thunderbolt and paralyzed it. What was this first Pokemon again? I already forgot. Uh, it was Rain, so I did... Uh, using a... Him was a... Theoretically a good idea. Uh, paralysis. Wait, what did it use? Thunderbolt? Yeah, Thunderbolted me. I'm gonna have to be cheesy. But I don't feel bad about it because they're blatantly cheating. Okay. So it's using Thunder. It's a guaranteed hit Thunder. Do I have anything else that could... Uh... Alakazam would be super effective, but would... One Psychic be enough to deal... Uh... To deal with Gengar. Let's find out. In Gen 1, it was accidentally four times effective on Psychic Ghost. They fixed that. Now it is uh, neutral against Ghost, but still super against Poison. Okay. All that really does is uh, save Goji a Thunder hit. Steelix. Uh, I can't fire punch. Well, I can, but it's going to be, like, halved in power because of the rain. Gleam can't poison it. Uh, who did I use against Heracross? I think I used... Shadow? Because I, I remember I didn't use Darien. I don't remember if there's a Pokemon that I need to use Shadow against. Heracross might be faster than Murkrow is what I'm worried about. And Darien is probably not going to be amazingly useful against anything, so... Uh, I'm going to sacrifice him. He's probably going to use Earthquake anyway. Yeah. Wait, well now what? I guess I'll Nightshade it. Nothing else to do. I don't have great switch-in strategies. I kind of just send in Pokemon to be sacrificed all the time. Will Earthquake get it? Because now its defense has been boosted. It's under half. And I am Tyranitar. No! Oh, it's, a, it's a Steelix. I should have I should have known better. It has pretty obscene defense. And uh, that hurt badly. Don't know if I'm going to get more use out of Goji. I keep 
wanting to, like, sweep everything, and I haven't gotten the chance to use Sandstorm. Heracross. Alright. It's gotta be faster than me. It's probably gonna use a fighting move. I could try to, uh... Does Snorlax no rest? Maybe I could, uh... Maybe I could Toxic the Snorlax with Gleam. I'm going to hope that Goji is faster and get a Sandy. It's not faster. I'm going to hope... Oh, Darien's dead. And I can't use Shadow, because it's still raining. Nobody else has something... Well, Nick has a fire move, but... <sighs> Mulligan. Who did I open with? I opened with Alakazam. Which is good against Gengar. But... The second Pokemon... Was, uh... Steelix. I might just have to, uh... I might just have to open with Goji just for the sake of getting the Sandstorm going. Because I can't let him have that. I think the only reason Celix is on this team... ...is to benefit from fire being weakened. If I don't get critted or uh, paralyzed by thunder, that's the best opening that I, I seem to be able to hope for. I'm gonna open with Sandstorm to be sure that I get it off. It's gonna earthquake me, that's alright. I can probably survive, because Steelix is not great on attack power. I can only barely survive. That'll let me get... Goji's not going to outspeed anything, so there's no point keeping it alive with this 1 HP. I might as well get an Earthquake in. And hopefully... After this, I used Shadow, and I think... Flamethrower should be enough? This is very subdued fight music. Now, it sent, now they send out Heracross, and no, they send out Dragonite, to which I think I sacrificed Gleam. So I'm not going to do that this time. Do I want to sacrifice anybody? Is it worth it? I can deal with Dragonite with... Uh, Alakazam. I can deal with Heracross with Darien. That leaves Slowbro and uh, Snorlax. Which, I don't know what my best bet for Slowbro is. I have two electric users, one uh, some dark users, but none of them are going to hit hard enough to deal with rest. And I can't use Toxic either because of rest. I could... Confuse it, maybe? Boy, that would be that would be a tedious strategy if I had to uh, use confusion and toxic and hope that I got it let down low enough before uh, before it was able to use rest on itself. Right now I have Dragonite to deal with. 
do I want to save Shadow is the question. I don't necessarily have a reason to use Snorlax. Snorlax is not super necessary for anything else, so I think I want to spend Snorlax here. Was it going to use Surf? Dynamic Punch, okay. Sure hope that doesn't hit me. Yeah, it hit me. 100 power. Super effective. Gonna kill. No, not quite. It did confuse me, and that's bad. How much is this gonna do? Like a third? Yeah. I could get lucky. It's not likely Snorlax is going to, uh... Okay, confusion's over. I have a 50% chance of winning this next turn. If it misses Dynamic Punch, it hit Dynamic Punch. The problem is that whatever I KO Dragonite with, that's going to determine what the next Pokemon they send out is. Shadow can deal with everything except for Snorlax. Well, maybe it can deal with Snorlax. Heracross, alright. I should be faster. Yeah, I'm faster, okay. Flamethrower was just short of one hit KOing it last time. No, oh, it's okay. Well, there goes Shadow. If that's the move it's going to use against Shadow, if that's reliable, then I can use that as a switch in for Darien. Unfortunately, it is faster than Darien. Is this going to one hit KO? It's a really powerful move! Ah! He can't survive anything! He sucks so bad! Alright. Heracross. Uh. You use Psychic. Psychic is super. Is that what I used last time to almost one hit KO it? Maybe it wasn't Flamethrower. Maybe it was Psychic I'm thinking of. Now, did I send out Slowbro? Okay. It's gonna Thunder Wave me. If I get really lucky, I could paralyze it, but it's going to, uh... It's gonna rest anyway. Yeah, there's Thunder Wave. Paralysis is really punishing for speed. Will a paralyzed Alakazam outspeed a Slowbro? No, it will not. Oh, really? Okay, it was a crit. Of course it was. And that leaves only Gleam. That's not good. And it has leftovers. I'm gonna confuse, and I'm just gonna have to hope that it hits itself. I'm gonna have to use Gleam and hope that I get very, very lucky. I wonder if Sand Attack affects Rest's ability, to, its chance of success. Okay. I am very lucky Thunder Wave just failed. Please hit yourself. Please. Give me luck. Yes. I'm gonna start Sand Attacking. I'm gonna really hope this affects rest. I don't know if it will or not. But it does affect Thunder Wave. Stay confused! Kill yourself! Don't take that out of context. I'm talking to the slow bro. I'm getting lucky so far. I don't want to jinx it. Be enough? 
I don't, I don't know. It's it's like it's it's pretty defensive, and Gleam does not have a lot of attack. I don't think it's going to be enough. I think I need one more turn for the Toxic to work. Please don't rest. Ah! I don't know how many sand attacks I've used. I, I, I wasn't counting. Gotta do this all over again, because there's nothing else that I can do. And I'm paralyzed. That's probably game. And it's managed to land a surf, despite four or five sand attacks. I need to save six for Snorlax. Is it still confused? No, not anymore. I probably should just give up on this and start a new attempt, but, uh... Man. I want to dream. I want to believe. And gleam. I only have three Confuse Rays left. Is it minimum yet? It is minimum accuracy. I don't want to use any more Confuse Rays, because I need them for Snorl- And it hit Surf again! Well, now, I, even if I beat him, Snorlax is just going to, like, body slam and destroy me. Gleam's fully paralyzed. I, I don't think accuracy affects rest. I don't think the Gleam Strat's gonna work. So I thought last time that I could use the, uh... I could use the Earthquake from Heracross to switch into Darien, which I could, but Darien gets one-shotted anyway, so I would need to do that, and also... I would need his Focus Band to proc if I'm to use Darien for that KO. Nope, can't take paralysis. We're resorting to we're resorting to speed up cheese cuz there's nothing else I can do. Steelix. Okay. Uh I do I've, I've got to guarantee sandstorm. Steelix is going to curse. You just swear at me. I'm going to get one earthquake in. I don't have anything better to do but flamethrower. Dragonite. For Dragonite, I sacrificed Snorlax. Because I don't really have anything better to do with him in this fight. Now he sends out Heracross. Hope... Wait, no, I, I was, uh, I was Shadow last time. Okay, maybe Psychic will one-hit KO. No, it won't. And it didn't miss Megahorn. What? Is there anything else that I need Nick for, specifically? Shadow will be faster. The problem is... He's no help against Slowbro. 
I, maybe. Maybe I can, like, two-hit him. He's just gonna surf me to death. Yeah. Now I have to confuse and get lucky. I'm paralyzed. That's bad. And it's used. Okay. I, this isn't going to work either, because it's just going to rest again. And surf me to death. How do I deal with this rest slow bro? I'm going to have to send Gleeman first, confuse it, or do something, then switch to Shadow. Okay, maybe I can send Gleeman first, get it to use Rest, and then while it's sleeping, I'll send in Shadow and get two hits of, uh, of Crunch. I'm sorry for the, for the speed-up sounds. We don't want to do all this at full, like, speed anymore, do we? I don't. We've spent long enough on this dude. I can't lose Shadow to Dynamic Punch. I could... I know it's gonna, it's gonna use a 50% accuracy move. Let me just switch into Nick. Yeah. That way I don't have to sacrifice Snorlax, and I have one more Pokemon at my dispense. Psychic will not one-hit KO Heracross. Darien is not going to be useful, like, period. But Nick is also not that useful against the other Pokemon. And I think I do need that damage from Psychic in order to, uh... It's going to Megahorn. So if I swap into Darien, Darien's going to die. And then if I sent out Shadow, I don't think Flamethrower would be enough. If Psychic isn't enough to one-hit KO it, then Flamethrower wouldn't be. Because Nick has a higher special attack stat than, uh, than Houndou Houndoom does. So I need this Psychic. There's no way around that. Maybe it'll crit. Yes! Slowbro. Okay. Uh, it's probably gonna surf me. Do I try the Gleam stat, or do I just, uh... Do I just go into Thunder Punching? Because I don't think... Nick is not gonna survive two surfs, is the problem. Also, if it gets paralyzed, it's bad. Okay, it's confused. I'm gonna poison it. I'll use some sand attacks for good measure. Nope. Okay, well Gleam is out. It's not it's not confused anymore is the problem. Okay. I have three Pokemon left at this point. Maybe the- yeah, okay, that'll KO it. Now I have three Pokemon with which to fight Snorlax. I could try to freeze or paralyze it, but Psychic is probably- I, I just need the damage. <sighs> Paralysis! Psychic didn't even do that much. Darien is not going to be able to do anything here. Doesn't have any status he can use. And my Snorlax just has... <sighs> Strength is 80. It's going to be 120 with Stab. Submission is going to be 160 with Recoil. But it's still not going to deal that much damage. Especially if it's Cursing is the problem. And it has Rest! Great. Did I lose accuracy? Did it use Sand Attack or something? Okay. I can't deal enough damage! Okay, maybe maybe Nightshade. Hold on, I need to look this up. Does Nightshade affect normal type in Gen 2? 
I hate that I have to go to this level to, to power through this guy because I'm just I'm under leveled. Nightshade is now affected by type immu type immunities, therefore it cannot usually hit. Oh. oh, it was changed to that. In Gen One, it could hit normal type Pokemon. Fly takes two turns, so it's just going to rest. It's got too much special defense for Feint Attack to work. And its defense is increased, so Steel Wing isn't going to work. I, I, I don't have anything to try. I'm just going to have to hope this isn't going to work. Not even close. Do I just keep trying and hope I get luckier than I did in that in that round? Nope, can't take paralysis. I have a plan. It's not a good plan, but with enough like retries it'll work eventually. If I sacrifice Darien to Megahorn, and it won't matter, because anyone else I send out is going to... Shadow will die to a fighting move, Nick will die to Megahorn, Jack will die to a fighting move, because Mega, Mega Heracross is really strong. I can't want... Well, I, did, I got a crit last time, I already got really lucky. Now I'm down Nick. If Darren had a priority move, but he doesn't. I have to send Shadow, because he's the only one who can move before Heracross. Then he sends out Slowbro. And I switch to Gleam. I'm going to Confuse. Toxic, because I want to bait him into using rest. Okay, this is going good. Okay, now that it's asleep, I can use I can use two uh, crunches from Shadow. And now, it knows rest too, though, is the problem. Is it going to curse as its opening move, or is it going to try to body slam? If it body slams, that will be bad for Gleam. It body slammed. And it's paralyzed! Ah! That might have just decided it. Yeah. Alright. Uh... I could paralyze it, but even that won't be a guarantee... Because it knows rest. Oh no, it gets the paralysis. I don't get the paralysis. Granted, Body Slam has a higher chance, but... I'm trying to poison it, but it's just going to rest that off. And once it's cursed, it's just its too much to deal with. Yeah, night Nightshade doesn't work. I knew that. I'm going to give this one more try. If this fails, I think I'm going to have to come back for another video. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll get past this guy off stream, because we know I've shown what I'm attempting to do. It's just going to take a lot of resetting and a lot of luck. It's going to be awful no matter what. All right, Dragonite missed. That's what I want. I'm going to Ice Punch. I'm going to Psychic and hope I get a crit. No. Now I have to use Shadow because Shadow's the only one fast enough. Then 
I do the gleam thing with Slowbro. Hate being paralyzed. It's so bad. Oh, well, I actually got it with, uh, it's not gonna matter, I'm just gonna get body slammed to death right now. Which means I cannot, if I could just toxic and confuse Snorlax, if Gleam could survive with enough health to get a move in, I would have a chance there. But because he can't, I have to rely on, uh, maybe if I could, uh, I could burn it, that would lower its attack, but... How much would that really help me? Kiss the- no, don't kiss the daddy. It can sleep me? What did it use to sleep me? Is it using metronome? Well, there goes Snorlax. And mine can't outdamage it, even with submission, because it's just- it's got curse. I could get a crit, maybe. Uh? Uh? Oh, I went to sleep! The only way I can hit through the curse increases is with crits. It's so close. It's possible. I just can't do it without insane luck. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop this video here. Over three hours. That, I spent way longer on this than I intended to. I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to do exactly what you just saw me doing, but off stream. I'm going to uh, brute force my way through obscene luck to get past this guy. And then I'll do one final video of me fighting the champion. And hope that I don't have to resort to the same thing for the champion. That'll be my plan. Boy, this... I guess this could have been a stream. I thought, oh, this will only take an hour. I'll be done with this game in no time. No. I, uh... May have underestimated... The, uh, the gym leaders in Elite Four a little bit. Most of the gym leaders. Gym leaders are stronger than these guys, even. The last two. But uh, that's it for this VOD. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you probably tomorrow for a stream with Jack. We'll see. Adios.